there, Joe here from Shortpoint, and today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about our new Graph API connection. Uh, before I show you how to use it, just a couple of notes if you're not familiar with the Graph API, I want to tell you a little bit about what it is and why we think it's so important to have included this in the latest Shortpoint release. Uh, so first of all, the Graph API is basically the layer in Microsoft 365 that helps all of the different Microsoft 365 services talk to each other. So OneDrive, SharePoint, Outlook, Planner, etc. are all connected through this Graph API. With the Graph API connection that we've released, you're now going to be able to bring information from those other services directly into your SharePoint site. The other great thing about the Microsoft Graph API connection is that it has some context about who the user is that's visiting the site. So what that means is that we're not just going to now be displaying the same content for every user that visits the site, but we can do things like show their recent documents that they've interacted with. We can pull in tasks from Planner to see uh, what I need to get done. And again, each user will see their own information. Uh, so with that quick introduction, I'm going to switch over, share my screen, and show you how we can set up a few of these connections. I'm going to be working on an HR page that I'm creating today, and I've actually already got the page laid out mostly the way that we want to. We're going to show our HR team over here. I want to have some links over to the document libraries on this site, and then I also want a section for my tasks where each person will see the tasks that have been assigned to them in planner maybe we're using this for onboarding and we've got an onboarding plan in planner for example we want those tasks to show up here with each person seeing their own tasks so let's get started with those connections anytime we want to make a connection we're going to need to switch over to this grid mode here so let's do that first here is the grid mode we've got our tiles over on the left that we're using to show our HR team members. If we go into the settings here, uh, again, we'll see right now those tiles are set up basically statically in the page. We don't want to have to add people manually to this page if we make changes to our HR team, though. We want that to be automatically picked up based on the profile properties in their intro or Active Directory profile. So let's go to the Connect tab, and we've got all the, the normal connections you might be used to if you've been working with ShortPoint for some time, but we now also have our Microsoft Graph API connection right in the middle. When we open up the Graph API connection, there's a few different options. It's just one connection, but really the power of this is that there's a bunch of different use cases to connect to different services and different information from within those services. So uh, a few things to point out. First, you could create your own custom Microsoft Graph query. If you know how to use the Microsoft Graph API or want to look at some of the Microsoft documentation, you can create your own queries here. We also have, as you see, a bunch of additional, we call them use cases, which are basically pre-built queries for you, leveraging that Microsoft Graph API that you can use. Quick note on this, we're going to be adding more to this over time. If you don't see a connection you're looking for here, let us know. Um, we can also help you potentially in the interim create a custom Microsoft Graph API query. But again, we'd love to hear from you what other use cases you would like to see. All right, so we're gonna connect to our HR team. So I'm gonna filter down to the user's use cases. And then right at the top here, we have a filter users by department use case. Uh, in my case, I wanna show our HR team. And I know that we've tagged uh, those members with HR as their department. So we're gonna go ahead and enter in HR for the department and then click this run query button. That's gonna show us the information that's being returned. In my demo tenant, we only have one team member on our HR team, but that looks good. We'll go ahead and click connect. Now, once we've connected, because again, we can connect this tiles element to any of these Graph API use cases or the other connections that we have, we need to choose which of these properties do we actually wanna show in this tiles element. So we're gonna go back to the tiles here before where they were listed one by one. Now it just says items mapping. We wanna to come to the title 
and then we'll click this drop down. This shows us all those properties that we returned on the previous screen here. For me, I wanna show the full name. That's gonna be our display name property. And this is also something that's new with this Microsoft Graph API connection. We're not just showing you the property name, but we've also got a data sample here. So it's easier to see the format uh, of what is being returned for each of these properties. So again, display name is going to show us the full name. I want that here. And then for our description, let's go ahead and we're going to map in the job title. And then one more. I want to make sure we're showing a picture of Diego here. Uh, that is going to be at the bottom of our list here. We've got our profile image property that we can pull in. So let's go ahead and preview this. And again, we see Diego is displaying there as we hover over this. In this case, the way we get the style set up, it'll show our HR manager job title as well. Let's go ahead and update these tiles. We're actually using tiles again here in the middle to show uh, the document libraries on this site. For this one again, we're going to go back to our Connect tab, connect to the Microsoft Graph API. And then this one, I'm going to use the SharePoint filter, and I want to connect to the document libraries in a SharePoint site. And one of the reasons I wanted to show this connection is that it has this query parameters. So in order to pull document libraries from a SharePoint site, we need to know which site to pull from. And it's actually looking for the site ID. Now, obviously, you may not know the site ID of your different SharePoint sites off the top of your head. So we're going to make it easy for you to find the right site ID to put here. You'll also notice that by default, it already has this parameter that's going to pull in the current site, which is ultimately what I want to do. But just to show you the parameters, we're going to click this get parameter button. And in this case, what it's essentially doing is it's searching for all of the sites and then highlighting here what's the display name and the ID of that site. So you can easily find that ID for any site that you're looking for. For example, if I'm looking for our US sales site that I want to show document libraries from, I can come over here and see this is the ID for our US sales site. I could click that copy button and then I would just click go back and then I can paste that into the site ID parameter. Now, again, for me, I'm going to keep it as it is and click on the current site and run query. We can see here we've got four document libraries that are returned. Let's go ahead and click the connect tab on this one. And we're going to go back to the tiles the same way that we got uh, some different properties for people when we connected to users in the last example. We now get a few different properties connecting to document libraries. I want to show in this case the title of this document library. I don't need a description in this case. We're just going to do the title and then a link. So that's going to be our web URL property down here at the bottom. We can preview this now. And again, here it's pulling in the documents, pay and benefits, company policies and onboarding documents from this site. The last connection I want to make here is this My Tasks area. We're using an icon list in this case to show the tasks like our first two. Right now, these are basically added directly to the page through the short point element. But instead, we want to connect this to Planner and show the tasks for each person that's visiting the site. So again, we'll go to our Graph API connection. We'll click on the Planner tab here and I want to click on my planner tasks. There's no parameters or anything else we need to connect here. It's just going to know to pull in my tasks. We'll click run query. We'll click connect. And then we'll go back to the items tab one more time. For the planner tasks, we're going to pull in the title first. So we can see the name of that task down here at the bottom. And then we're going to pull in the due date. I'm going to leave this due just so people know again that it is a due date. So we can combine 
hard-coded text like do that we have there. And then we're gonna dynamically pull in that due date time. And then finally, we're also gonna add a link for this one so that I can click directly over to my planner task. If I need to update that task, maybe mark it as complete. Let's preview this one. And again, here are those tasks coming from planner. We're gonna go ahead and update this. Let's save the short point web part. And so we can see now all of our sections have been updated. We're showing our HR team, the document libraries from the site, and then that my tasks section that shows each person their individual tasks. One last thing to show here, I have another browser open. This one I'm logged in with a different user, Alex. And so we can see here the tasks for Alex, of course, are going to be different. We're gonna send in direct deposit, ask for some onboarding feedback. If we again go back to my other account, we see the different tasks for each user. That's where we're gonna pause as far as the demonstration today. The last thing I wanna point out is that we have a lot of information on our support sites, support.shortpoint.com. There's an entire uh, area of this support site dedicated to the Microsoft Graph API, showing you how to enable that Microsoft Graph integration, which you'll need to do before you can start using this connection. And then we also have, as you see here, uh, a bunch of different articles for each use cases. So. Here's an example displaying team members from a specific department. We just saw that one, but there's going to be a different uh, article here to walk you through the steps if you have questions about any of those particular use cases. So thanks for watching the video here, and we cannot wait to hear your feedback. Let us know if you have other ideas for us, and happy connecting.